Hey, what's going on everyone? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been around before, welcome back. My name is Dave, and today I just wanted to give you guys an overview of my thoughts on the Vanguard beta, which are mostly positive. Overall, I think the game feels amazing. I love the decision to go with the IW8 engine, which makes this feel a lot closer to Modern Warfare, and the guns feel satisfying. The main weapons I'm seeing a lot of people use and do well with are the MP40, STG44, and the Thompson, which I do expect to carry over to the full game, but with some minor tweaks. Right now, the MP40 feels like it could use a slight decrease in range and increase the hip fired, make it function more as an SMG. It sits somewhere between the Thompson and the STG in terms of range and feels kind of like a hybrid that can dominate up close or reach out to mid range. Despite the dominance of those three weapons, everything is incredibly lethal given the TTK in this game. You can use pretty much anything and do well if you have good map sense. Something that I've noticed is that there's kind of a forced meta right now due to how effective the counter spy planes are. These things last for what seems like a full minute and although they're not hard to shoot down, they're so easy to get that against a team with a few players running them you're going to basically end up playing with no minimap. This also creates an issue because Ghost is effectively useless if you're already jamming the enemy and there's no point in using the radar perk if you're being jammed. With no real intel to go off of and insanely chaotic spawns, you're kind of thrown into the mix and running blind which causes most players to just sit back. These maps are actually really punishing if you're someone who likes to push the objective but have players sitting because of how open some of the lanes are and the effectiveness of the snipers as well as the LMGs is just crazy. Now most of you guys know I've been playing COD for way too long so I've been around long enough to remember the metas from back in the day, and for World at War, which had incredibly similar map designs, smoke was insanely useful. Granted, back then we had Jug to counter a sniper if we had to step out in the open, but with plates being pretty much the only truly effective field upgrade other than the ammo pack, we'll likely be seeing a similar playstyle in the objective modes. When it comes to pushing the objective and playing at a higher pace, I've noticed that the sprint out times could really benefit from being buffed just slightly to keep things competitive and encourage more movement. Now let's talk audio and graphics for a second, and this is where I think the game needs the most work. We went from being able to hear someone tax sprint from across the map in Modern Warfare to not being able to hear them at all. The entire enemy team could spawn on you, and believe me, they will sometimes, but you would never hear it. I don't know if this was an intentional design or just an overcorrection, but it desperately needs to change in order to make Dead Silence actually viable and give players a little more awareness. Right now, you basically can't hear anyone, some of the guns sound really off with silencers, and you have no mini-map to guide you. We also can't forget that the sun is like staring in a spotlight sometimes. Despite some of these nitpicky things, I freaking love this game dude, like Cold War just wasn't it for me, Zombies was a vibe, but I couldn't get into the multi. Vanguard's maps are fun and different, I don't feel like I'll just be living on shipment out of spite, and the fact you can put 10 attachments on your guns is absolutely nuts. I already can't wait to start making loadout videos for this game in multi, zombies, and warzone. Man, November 5th really can't come soon enough. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the Vanguard beta so far in the comments below, and if you're not subscribed, hit that button now because we have a really bright year of content ahead. Anyway, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.